Hey everyone, what's up? Well, today's video is a new lawn cutting video. So it's the 29th of July. Uh, the grass hasn't been cut since the 19th, since my last video with the 10th v 3 I have my Spanish flag flying over. So, now to fulfill some requests I wasn't able to do the last time. Now, since I got my cord from my father, I'll be able to film uh, one of my vintage Black & Deckers for um, Backyard Texas Shed. I'll probably do the 82 and 9. This is the very first time I actually use it and film it on YouTube. I'll do the Weed Eater next. And I will film the uh, Fertile Lawn Mower. I, uh, I did promise the 5247, so I'll do that one and then next week will either be this one here or the 10201 that one runs okay let's get started okay so it's the first time I actually use a trimmer this old all right going to plug it in plug it in all right we're good to go yes before I start this is what it is, a Black & Decker Whippersnipper, the Lux model, 8209-04 with a 4.3 amp motor. Not bad, not bad. That's a little video of the Black & Decker. And now we'll go ahead and get the lawnmower out. Alrighty. 52.47. Fuel valve is open, it's on. Now that's a lot, a lot of smoke. And I think the reason is because the either I need a new crankcase seal, like the 4630, or my muffler could be clogged up, which is probably likely the case since I use it so often. But she still starts up nice though.
Oh, unfortunately, I ran out of gas. Okay, so I just turned the lawnmower upside down. Uh, you can see where the crankcase is. It's not wet, which is actually a good thing. So that means that the crankcase seal is not the problem, but you can probably see the excess carbon inside the muffler. So that's probably the reason why it's uh, behaving the way it is. So I don't really use it particularly too much on my customers because <laughs> I already cut the grass already and it took around three refills. All right, so now let's go use the leaf blower. All right, got enough gas in here. See, I don't know why Steel doesn't use these types of caps on their chainsaws and some of their trimmers like the FS70. It would make lawn cutting so much easier. Anyway, the R550. Just used it around six hours ago, so it's a cold start. Okay, so a bit more. All right, let's do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video featuring the 2012 Steel BR550, the 1979 uh, Lomboy 5277 with the F100 engine, as well as the electric vintage uh, 1977 Black & Decker 8209. So next week we'll be able to film another one. Alright, see you guys.